Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can write a macro for returning the file path of a particular file which you are working. In this case, as you see the cat part and this is uh, the active document here and in order to get the file path you need to go to the save management and we'll be seeing the location of the file so this is another way so for say for example you have a lot of assemblies uh, you are working on a lot of uh, 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 a particular project where you have a lot of files linked to it and uh, you are active in one, in one particular file and you need to find the, find the file path name so just make that file active and just run this macro here I go to macros and just write run any of these these are two different options which I made just go here and you'll be seeing where exactly that path or the file is located now let's see how we can write the code for it for that go to macros and here you can create a new macro just name it like the uh, whatever macro study the file path uh, this is really not important and how to come to this particular uh, file or this particular option I've already shown you before you can refer to that and now once this is created here just go for edit and you'll be getting the edit box and you have two, op two different ways where you can write the macro for it so let me show you the first way so for the first way you need to write you need to declare the variable so the that's doc1 so it's dim doc1 as document so that's the file type and set doc1 equals kitia dot active document so now firstly you have uh, declared the variable and you have set doc1 as of a type document and then you have assigned doc1 uh, that object to kitia dot active document now the value for the object doc1 is kitia dot active document and that's the active document now now let's come here once you come to the next line all this uh, uh, the declaration and the set everything changes to blue which indicates that uh, those are the uh, functioning variables or th those are the controlling factors so now coming here what you need to do now now you can just give a message box simple as doc one dot full name or it's a full name yeah it is a full name so if you give a full name it returns a file path now let's see how it works I just save it and minimize and just come to the macros and just run this so it returns the file path successfully now if we there's another way of uh, doing this let's come to the macros instead of declaring if we don't declare it's really simple if you don't declare that but that doesn't work always so I'll show you that also I just write kitsia dot active document dot full name so just give the message box message box kitsia dot active document dot full name this also must work so just come here and give give a run for the macro again so just run it and this works so that's a, that was a simple tutorial to show you or demonstrate the uh, well, one simple macro here. I hope you enjoyed and if you have any doubt you can comment below the video. Thank you so much and stay tuned.